Hello everyone! In this episode we're gonna learn how to implement the splash screen and the main menu screen. It's gonna look like this. Let's jump into it. So before we jump into the game mechanics and the gameplay scenes, we're gonna talk about the pre-game scenes. And um, mainly in all the games it all consists of two big scenes. Uh, the first one will be the splash scene or pre-menu scene and then the main menu. Uh, in a simple uh, explanation we're gonna create a um, splash screen and the menu scene. And in the menu scene we're gonna have simple buttons everything basic which is gonna lead you to the gameplay scene. You can add more layer to it by inserting um, like an options, credits or even a pre-menu um, initialization scene which is used in a lot of games for uh, signing into uh, Google Play or iTunes or anything any service that you have for login. For, for now we have a sample scene that comes with the uh, project and by the way I'm using uh, 2020 111 and uh, I like it because I can make this whole thing dark I think it's uh, been released on 2019.4 but I like the whole UI, the new UI is way much better. Also what I did is I cleaned up the package manager, I had to add uh, the latest uh, Visual Studio code, which is much lighter than the Visual Studio uh, normal one. And the other thing is I had to dis uh, download, oh, is it? I think it's this one, pixel art, if I'm not mistaken, ah, bl blue UI. <coughs> And this one is an asset you can find in the asset store, Unity asset store. Wait, let me see what the demo scene has. And uh, yep, so basically it has this template of uh, UI, which I find really interesting. I can use now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link uh, of downloading this asset in the description. Feel free to download it; it's free. All right. So let's minimize. I also sorted out the stuff here because a good project is an organized project. So we have the graphics folder and the scene folder. Inside the scenes folder we have the sample scene. I'm gonna name this menu. Okay? And in here I've already added this uh, Antisoft uh, background, let's delete it. We've got the main menu camera. Let's start by adding the UI canvas, alright? Here we go, let's name it UI. And what I like in this is that I like to make it uh, used as a camera because uh, that's my own preference. <laughs> it's it's set it's set in the camera canvas, and you have to you're not gonna have it in this old area anyway. It's much nicer. Of course, it has its own pros and cons, but for here it's fine. Like uh, now it's how far is it from the camera? Hundred, ten, zero, whatever. Let's bring the camera to zero. I'm gonna put the canvas away for one unit. Uh, don't need to be that much far. The second thing is we need to put the canvas scaler into scale with screen size. And basically you can put your desired aspect ratio in here, like 800 by 650. I like the uh, 16 by 9, so I'm gonna go with 450. And I'm gonna put this in 0.5 because I want the whole application to scale up according to the both height and width. Since we finish from this, we're gonna start by adding the elements. I'm gonna put simple stuff. Let's go with uh, the title. Uh, by the way, also uh, I'm gonna use Text Mesh Pro, which is built in. Let it load. All right. I'm not gonna import the extra ones. So there we go. So we have Text Mesh Pro here. And we've got this. Let's call it title all right I haven't came up with a proper title for the game but since we have a characters like I imported them it can be like humanoids or something and the enemy will be animals so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, name it uh, friends versus animals all right so it's not properly done what I what I do here is if you click on this title text mix manager and you have this all anchoring right you can go up, down, left, you know, stretch. But if you keep clicking Alt, it's gonna choose it and 
put it in that place. So since UI is a really important thing in the game, and you have to make you have to make sure that it's scalable and uh, what's it called responsive. You have to make sure this UI is properly anchored and set. So since it's put in the top, I'm gonna move the pivot from here to here, which is right now it's put 0 0.5. So I'm gonna put it on top, all right? Which means if I zero this thing out, it's gonna come exactly flushed, which is amazing. Let's go with 400 and uh, let's make this in the middle and you can see in the viewport, this is how it looks. I'm gonna use the built-in text. Again, if you wanna have your own text, just go here, Text Mesh Pro, Font Asset Creator, just put your font in here. You know what, I'm gonna change it, honestly. Let's go with Life is Goofy. And uh, let's keep it 512, 512 and save it in the cartoon whatever the font is so you get all this information here all good so let's go back here go with life is goofy so I think this is much nicer because it has a better cartoonish view but smaller scale of characters so let's make it 40 the next thing is we need to put a button right so let's go with button we put the button here I want to reduce the type the, the gizmos because they're too big let's name this start let's go with button start and inside we've got actually you know what is there a text mesh yeah text mesh row button let's use text mesh for button let's call it button start and inside we got Dex Mesh Pro. Let's go with Start Game. All right. Change the font to Life is Goofy. We put this middle middle. That's cool. So I think the font itself is slightly high, like going up. That's why you see here. It's uh, I have it centered, but still it's slightly going up, which is not a problem. You can always play with this stuff. Like here, if you go here, you can. You can slightly push it down by changing the upper anchor to, like, let's say, five, and we're good. Here we go. Start game text. All right. So right now this button has nothing in here. We're gonna keep it as it is, but we're gonna change the sprite of the button. We got our this assets the blue which is using the atlas so if we click on this one and go to sprite we can see the elements like you see all the elements here all of them are sliced properly so we can use this one button locked pressed button so it's called button that's it so let's use it let's go button here we go button hover no, I think it's fine we'll go with button Something is weird about this, if you can see in the middle in here. I think it's not sliced properly. No, it is. Maybe because it's compressed? Yeah, something is funky. Simple. Maybe it's not supposed to be sliced. something with a slice let's let's go ahead and just check it so we've got the button here we go yeah I think it's because of the stuff so let's we can't play this mu much so you know what let's as the, the, the asset has slight deformation to it so let's let's go ahead and make it normal all right or we can play with this one here 1.5 all right 1.2 1.3 Okay, 1.5 is enough. So we got this. We have the color of this one should be. Hmm. Let's make it whitish. Or let's make it. No, black is fine. So let's go ahead and align this 
I think it's a bit too high. Let's break in minus 50 down. No, that's a lot. Minus 20, that's fine. Make it 60, it's good. And the button, I think it's fine. We have it here. We're gonna make it simple, you know? It's just a button, UI, and we can we can add like a frame or like a, I would say like a window, right? Let me see what is it called. It's it's called background. No. Let's see what it's called. So it's called window, literally window. So let's go ahead and this window. Go look for window. So we got two windows. Let's go with this one. Let's make it this big. Zero. Zero. We don't have to make it aspect ratio aligned, but let's go 400 by 275. All right. Actually, let's go with 400. No, 200. No, 275. So what I want to do is, since we get, I want the whole scene to look more nice. Let's take this and put it as part of the window and zero watt. So it's gonna go on top of this window because this window has this size. And if we put it on top, let's go with 40. It's gonna take the upper side of it. We can play with this, make it 40. Maybe it's good. And just slightly push it down. It's five. Yeah. And make it yellowish. You know what? That's good. We can decrease the side of this. Also, put the button inside and make this, let's say, 200. And lower the button down. Again, this is a rough UI. I'm saying you can you can create your own with a lot of stuff. And let's make the background more of a whitish. It's too much. Yeah, let's go with let's go with this color. You know, I'm gonna go with funky colors. I think uh, I don't know. <laughs> now I feel I have a lot of choices. Let's go with uh, this one. Okay, that's a good color for me. Keep it as it is. Next thing is, let me save it. Go back, start a scripts folder. Scripts, and let's create to menu game. All right. So for menu, let's add menu script. Honestly, you don't have to call it script. We'll just add it here, and we're gonna have where to add it. Let it load. Let's add it here in the UI. Or let's make it here. Menu Manager, all right? Let's zero them out, put it on top, put the menu in here. What we're gonna do with this menu manager is uh, it's gonna technically have one thing, that's it, it's moved to the next scene. So let's make using scene manager, oh, sorry, unity engine dot scene management, that's it, and make a public void change scene let's pass a string scene name all right so in here we're gonna go scene manager dot load scene we're gonna go normally not asynchronous because we don't want that and let's delete the things that we don't need this is the simplest menu uh, script what we need to do we need to go to the button add Listener, oh, sorry. Uh, grab this object, put it here, or you can simply just grab this, click scene, and go to the menu, main menu, object, this one, and you have to navigate to the menu, and then go to change scene. So far we haven't made the next scene, but I'm gonna call it game, all right? So with this we've finished our menu scene. The thing we have to do also is the splash screen, right? So each splash screen has uh, its own way of doing it. You can create it manually, you can add it within Unity. Since I'm using the free version, it comes with a mandatory splash screen. 
and uh, if I click review you can see here that's the smart screen so let's go ahead and uh, do something here I want this one to be I want the background to be fully black okay and I want to add logo I'm gonna go with this one so if you go preview you can see it's not looking good looks really bad so let's go make it the background white and the reason it doesn't look good because we're getting light to dark so we have to go dark to light so this will have this whole thing with it and you can choose if by the way you can take unity you have to purchase it the plus or the pro so what I can, what you can do you can put them together or you can go sequential right so if I go sequential it's gonna go unity and then the company for example but because this one we don't need to wait for two and two for, which is four seconds let's wait for only two seconds which is gonna show all this whole thing and you can choose the type of the whole thing here like static means it just they just show up but dolly means they slightly you know zoom in so I'm gonna keep it like this right and now if I have a change of heart here I'm gonna make the background white why because it's not no, because the previous one is white so it makes sense to have everything consistent like you can see it comes up like this and then the menu shows up let's bring this back here so we've got ourselves a, a simple the simplest main menu ever and then you can add here more things for example I call this window we can call this um, like I want to say main window and then you can have another one called options window you know and then keep adding stuff up and then in the main menu manager you can add the game object uh, list or array of pages and you can switch between them manually but feel free to append to it as much as you want uh, with this we have simple splash and menu scene and the next episode we're going to talk about the exciting stuff which is the gameplay and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, uh, support me on Patreon if you can. I, I would really appreciate that. And uh, you can find the source code in the, document, uh, in the description below. Also, join our Discord channel with uh, our small community of developers. Uh, other than that, uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.